You have an awesome custom seed that you want to use in Minecraft, and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to do that, starting with Java Edition. Bedrock Edition is covered a little later in the video. Click on Single Player, and then go to Create New World here. You can name the world anything you want, and then you want to select your game mode, your difficulty, cheats enabled, disabled, all the normal settings. But then come up here to World at the top. And right here it is. You've got the seed for the world generator. So you can enter your custom seed here. It can be numbers, it can be letters, it can be negative numbers, right like so. It can be anything that you want. And then go ahead and click create world at the bottom. This is where the seed goes, create the world. And now the seed will be used for this world. And uh, yeah, it's that quick and easy. You can also get a seed once you are in a world, assuming cheats are enabled, by using the slash seed command. And that will give you the seed. Uh, this may look different than the seed I entered that's because every seed you enter is converted into a number string similar to this but I assure you if you reuse these numbers you'll get this exact same seed spawning right here in this biome with the that mountain right there nevertheless let's go ahead and move over to bedrock edition and while we're doing that how much from our company simple game hosting go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown xyz slash sgh to start your minecraft server in just a few minutes you can easily add mods plugins and mod packs to the server and truly customize the server any way that you want plus if you have any issues with your server along the way there's expert live chat support there to help you out and by the way you can use a custom seed on your server so stop struggling and host a minecraft server and host it the simple way at the breakdown.xyz slash sgh first link in the description down below so here we are, we're in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and this time we're going to go ahead and click on play here, and we want to create a new world. Create a new world again, and then where do you enter the seed? Well, we want to come down here to advanced, and right there it is at the top. So let's go ahead and see how a Java seed translates to Bedrock. This is the Java seed we just used here, and go ahead and click create. Seeds do not transfer between the versions 1 to 1, but they usually are pretty similar, so I would expect this to be relatively similar to what we saw on Java Edition. And sure enough, it is. Minus the fact that the textures are a little different, there is that mountain that we spawned right next to. Same biome on spawn, all of that stuff, so uh, things are looking good. This worked as it should. Nevertheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments section down below, but enjoy your new custom seeds in Minecraft. It's crazy how much using the right seed can truly change your gaming experience, and wow, cherry blossoms over here. This one's actually pretty decent. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.